But let's not waste any time and get into it. We're gonna make this beautiful wallpaper for my phone. At the end, I resize it, but I didn't show you how to do that. Ask me in the comments, but we're gonna make it on Canva. So you open Canva and you get your pictures. I already made an album, hold on. I love using myself as a muse in my vision boards because it inspires it just reminds me that I've been there, you know, and I just feel like I'm my biggest inspiration. Anyway, so I start here by erasing myself out of this image because I want to use the background of the brick. I really like that feature. And um, my wallpaper is my vision board. I guess I just kind of slightly mentioned it, but um, I'm doing my um, half year vision board, right? We're now in June, so there's six months left in the year and I have plans, big ones. So this is me um, visualizing my plans for the rest of this year. And, um, you know, I'm just excited about how life is going and all the things that I have coming forward. And uh, I just want to see them when I open my phone. I pick up my phone just to be able to see like, wow, this is where I'm going. But anyway, after doing that, <laughs> I took that same picture and I removed the background, just like what I'm going to be doing here. I crop it into a small size and then I remove the background. And I like this feature because it almost makes it look like it popping out. And I also love what the fortune says, okay? So um, now I have another picture. This is of a place, a residence where I want to be living. And this was on the wall. I also, excuse me, love... Um, Thinking about the law of attraction and taking the path of least resistance is something that's big in my life right now. Like taking it easy, just relaxing and settling into where I am and feeling grounded and rooted and supported. Um, also, number four is a big number in my life right now. I'm surprised I didn't put it in there, but a lot of things symbolize that for me. That's my life path number. The number four symbolizes stability, structure, like the four walls in a home, the four chairs, the four legs on a chair, just being stable and grounded, you know? And so that's definitely my vibe for the next six months. I put this picture on there because I love how clear my skin is and also how happy I am. So I just put that up there, easy peasy, didn't remove the background, I don't think. Or did I? No, I didn't. Okay, what's next? Okay, I love this image because I love my abs right there. Um, I have gained some weight since then, and I do really like it on me, but I also really love my abs. So definitely going to get back into doing ab workouts. Still keep up the the diet, though, because it's looking good. <laughs> okay, anywho... Um, Okay, so this is a thing. This is something that I'm going to teach you about that I had to learn. Um, Canva wouldn't see my background right then. I was like, what's going on? So after trying a few times and seeing that it still wasn't going to see it, I decided to use the eraser. And I erase and I erase. And then um, after I erase some more, it finally shows up like darker. And then, then when I click on background remove, Canva can see that, oh, okay, there is a background there. And I'm like, <laughs> obviously I was telling you to. So um, see, I tried it again and it removed the background, yay. So now the roses are just clear and popping out. And these to me symbolize all of the roses I'm gonna be getting in this, in this half of the year symbolizing love that deep red that passion i'm a very passionate girl i'm a libra <laughs> i know it says so much about me you know um these orchids orchids are my favorite flower especially in white it just symbolizes purity to me i love how dainty they are um in this era i'm also soft you know it's not just my soft girl era and that you know it is that but if I was to describe myself in a word, I would say soft. I feel soft to the touch. My skin is just very plush. <laughs> plush or just, you know, smooth and it feels gentle and feels good on my hands. But other than that, <laughs> I also just am very soft hearted. Um, my heart is light. I'm loving. I'm open to love. 
Being around me feels like relaxing on a cloud. I'm soft. Anyway, back to this. Um, we are we belong here. This is a picture I took when I was in New York, and it's right there um, in Brooklyn at Atlantic Ave. It's it just reminds me a feeling at home again that stability that groundedness we belong here okay now watch what i'm about to do with this ring okay so i want to put this ring on my hand right because i have two hands that i'm showing here and um i want to put this ring on you know okay because this is my engagement ring period okay period period, period. okay anyway <laughs> i'm getting excited y'all first i was trying to use this little tool that says um what tap and then it erased the whole hand. So I was like, okay, let me restart. And what I ended up doing was, again, because I tried to do the background erase and it didn't see the background. So what I got to do, the magic eraser again, y'all, magic eraser, okay? So after I do this, keep trying to do this and seeing that it ain't doing what I thought, I just erased the whole background and the fingers and then after I erase the fingers, it's going to allow me to remove the background. And then, bop, <laughs> I have a ring to put on my finger. Okay, I love this song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to get back home. Ooh, you feel it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a very impromptu video, y'all. I hope you are enjoying it. Um, I love making these kind of wallpapers for myself. I have like tons of them in my phone. Um, yeah, just whenever I get in the mood and for my vision boards, it's, I think it's very important to refresh your vision boards. Don't just make them like for a full year. If you break them down into smaller goals, it's easier to achieve and easier to look back and see what you have achieved right so anyways i got done erasing and now i clicked remove background bop look at that ring and now i crop so that i can um have just a small like perimeter around the ring and then um boom oh my gosh like I, when i discovered that i'm like this is crazy this really is because i can really put the rings on i'm gonna also do this again to another ring you gonna see it's two different options you know i got some options i'm weighing of what i like you know so but i do like um like a soft dainty band i think that's really cute especially um the wedding bands that like have um smaller diamonds connected to each other because for my engagement ring i pretty much want to rock you know i'm a rock kind of i'm a rock kind of girl you know like one solid rock pure real diamond pop Whew. anyways i'm so that is so refreshing Anyway, so um, here we go, another ring. And this is um, the band that I'm talking about, you feel me? Just those two together, look how beautiful. It's like sweet, Mwah. And this time I didn't waste any time because I knew the trick, right? So I go ahead and erase those hands all around, all around, all around. Um, Alexa, next. And then um, I, I had to erase again because it wasn't dark enough to see that there was a background. So just go ahead and do that, you know. But, you know, as you work with Canva, you learn more and more. And Alexa, next. So, um, you know, be gentle with yourself, just as you should be gentle with yourself as you're doing anything. But, um, you know, when you're a beginner, you're going to be a beginner. So allow yourself to be a beginner and uh, take it easy on yourself, you know? Anywho, um, now I have resized my ring and I'm trying to put it on, right? But then you can see that the ring is like going over multiple fingers as I try to put it on. So I'm like, uh, you know, me being a little particular, even though this is just for myself and my background, I still am like, I want to be serious, you know, okay. Hashtag, I am diligent. I'm a diligent worker. If you're an employer looking at this video, yes, I work hard. I am dedicated to creating the best content, okay? at me my email is in somewhere i will put it in my description box okay employers employ me anywho 
back to the video um this is a screenshot i took and i really love what it says it says um the things i prayed for um i now have the things that i prayed for i'm trying to see y'all because when i'm editing this is pretty far away but um and this is i really believe that um but it's like <laughs> whatever it says i wanted to say i currently have so then i'm gonna you know detailed me gonna go in here and i'm gonna erase that part that um says i'm getting the things i prayed for or something let me see what it says yeah um <sighs> working woman anyways anyways check out my linkedin and see some of the content i produce I'm a working woman, I am a creative director, and I'm here to tell the story of your brand and let the world know what it is you're creating and why you're creating it. You know, I think that's really the beauty in marketing is that some that someone is viewing this, you know, especially if it's like a commercial and it comes on someone's TV and they're sitting there in their home and you're telling them about a product, but somebody doesn't want you to just tell them, they want you to show them, what is this gonna feel like to hold this, to experience this, you know? And that's how I like to advertise. I like to show the feeling, you know, make you be able to feel it through your eyes. <sighs> Anyways, open for employment, like I said in the description box so i'm erasing 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 and then i'm going to then add text that says exactly what i wanted to say and like i said um i was looking for what it says but i can't see right now like because i said it's pretty zoomed out right now i have to i'm, I'm editing this and i moving but anywho um what did i just take off oh 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 hold on okay so what are we doing now we are editing something okay this is the part where i'm typing in what i want that quote to actually say and i actually try to look oh because it's in a book i tried to look for what it said but i couldn't find it but anyway you'll be able to see what it says blessing <laughs> okay Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you guys like my music okay so this one this picture for me is symbolizing friendship in this era it's big on friendship community love sharing love being around black women and supporting each other because girl stuff okay this is about girl stuff okay I'm in my girl stuff era. Oh, that reminds me. Recently, um, we had a girls' night um, for Memorial Day. We were in Indy, and it was also the Indy 500. So we had a race, um, a race party, a race get together, you know, um, with the girls. And it was at my cousin's friend's house, and it was so like sweet it was just a bunch of black women who are doing great things in their lives and just happy and we ended up playing we're really not strangers so this is not an app we're really not we're really not strangers but this is such a great game to play and connect with people it's such a beautiful experience you know and so one of the questions asked um like share something you need advice on or something and um we ended up doing this and it was so cute because like it was an advice column from black women and i asked the question i was like guys you know i really want to be um i really want to do work as a creative director i know that i'm really great at it and i have the skills i know what it takes and i want to do it so what do you suggest to help me get a job like what should i do um, side note right here this was annoying me because I was like I'm not gonna put this like square picture in this circle so I need a shape and then I was like um it's kind of oval shaped and then I got an oval frame and just changed the outside to white to match the window so little hack you know <laughs> just little things but anyway um uh dang lost my train of thoughts um 
but life is going well. <laughs> I know this is a major, major pivot from whatever we were just talking about, but um, life is going really well. And um, I'm just excited about how great it's, like if it's going this great right now, how great it's gonna be by the end of the year. And like, ooh, wow. I'm just really excited. Like, life is just really great. And oh my gosh. And I feel like how I got here is because of my gratitude journal. I have a gratitude journal that I keep right next to my bed. And um, it's really my good vibes only book. That's what I really call it. <laughs> On the front cover of it, I've written good vibes only. And every day, the first thing I do when I get up is grab that little journal and I write 10 things I'm grateful for and why. And then after I write it, I read the list and I say, thank you, thank you, thank you for every one of them. And I mean, the way it's changed my life. But anyway, on this picture right here, I really like it because it symbolizes family. That's me and my family. We were in Texas. And I thought when I removed the background, maybe it was going to remove the whole um, tin thing. And it would have been the shadow on the brick. And I guess I could have done that. But and you know how to do it now. You would just go in there and get the eraser and erase the brick um, erase the tin and then, um, click remove background again. And then it should get them. But this is a picture of my sister and I just love it because it symbolizes elegance, class, you know, being that girl, being taken care of and in a luxury spaces. This is also a luxury space in New York. And you know how I feel about New York. I love it. So, um, yeah, it just was very beautiful. And I'm like, okay, let me put in this um, cute frame that I found the other day, a TV. And I just resized the TV and um, the picture. And then I just click position. That's what I've been clicking to change the layering is um, position and then send back or forward, blah, blah, blah. And then um, I wanted a picture to symbolize Cape Town and being by the beach. But I was like, um, this one isn't as good for the beach. And then I was like, oh, I like this. And the thing is, I like this. The I like the couple holding hands and walking into the distance. And that's symbolizing like partnership and anniversaries. You feel me? But I also like the background of the cloud. So what I decided to do is duplicate that picture and then you're gonna see but i guess right now i'm looking for pictures of cape town and um we'll see what happens because did i end up taking that picture no oh i ended up going into my um uploads and getting a picture of me swimming and i was like this this is perfect this symbolizes the water which is what i love this is what i wanted to feel like um because in this part of the year, I also want to be at the pool, swimming in the water. But this is what I'm talking about. So the first one, I just kept it with them there. And then this one, I removed the background just to zoom into this couple here. And then I resize them and make them large. And I just love that they're walking off into the distance together. And that's just the kind of love that I'm into, you know. The kind of love that you see in a really sweet rom-com where good stuff just keeps happening, you know, like, oh, we just happen chance to meet and then it's like, ooh, do I like you? Do I like you? Ooh, but I'm in love, you know? <sighs> okay, anywho. So I decided to change that because I feel like what's playing on this record right now is the power to heal um i believe i've learned a lot and i have so much within me that i want to share with the world and i believe that whatever i do have to share has the power to heal and that is why i like to share anyways <laughs> not anyways but back to this now um canva had a little glitchy a little glitchy glitch okay and this is a picture of my family this was a picture of us right before me and my sister left to come to america 
Uh, we were four. I was four and Tonda was three. And I just love that. So this picture to me is symbolizing connecting to family. I'm going to put a frame around it. And it, the frame is also helping symbolize decorating my new home, my new space with all of the images of the people that I love. Right now, I'm very into pictures. I'm really always been into pictures because I feel like they just encapsulate the beauty of life, you know, and the things that we have experienced and that we have to be grateful for. So I'm grateful for all of these people in this image. And I'm just happy to be able to call them my family. I'm really in love with my family. Yeah, it's a love affair. So um, I'm resizing the picture because it was hanging out of the frame. And then now there we go. That's beautiful. I can just imagine it sitting on like, um, uh, what is that called? Uh, not a banister, the thing, you know. Anyways, on some shelf. <laughs> Now I wanted to have this heart, uh, this finger heart that I make here. Um, and I'm gonna crop it, but I don't want to see myself in the background, so I just erase. And um, I erased once, and then I clicked the erase button, and then it didn't really erase it too much. So then I just erased more, and it kind of was cutting out a little bit more of my fingers than I expected. But it worked well enough to get the the gist of what i was doing um what's going on okay never mind um <laughs> so uh i'm just erasing 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 and then i'll have that little finger heart and i can take it and crop it and put it up <laughs> And that's exactly what I do here. And I just threw it somewhere really quick because I didn't know where I wanted it yet. And so I go and find some more pictures. And I just love using images in my own camera roll. And it's cool on Canva. Um, I have Canva Premium or Pro. I just I pay that, oh, what is it, $13.99 a month for it. And to me, it's really worth it. I use I use Canva to edit so much. Um, especially now that I've been working on my portfolio for creative direction, which again, I'll put the link for my videos in my description box so you guys can watch them and let me know what your, what your thoughts are. Cause I'm putting in work. Okay. So this is a frame. This is a picture that, um, we saw at, um, first Friday in Indy and, um, I just loved it. I love the artwork. I just, I'm very into art for one. And this could symbolize me doing art. Oh, hold on. I was scared that it was showing the name of this person. But, um, so I already cropped that out of this video. But before this, I just inserted the screenshot and then I erased, um, I erased the name with just the eraser tool and then now i'm um trying to erase the initials as well so that i can customize it further of course and then uh crop it down there and i did try to do the background removal but it ended up cutting out too much and then i have to go back later because it does a little glitchy thing again but anyway now i'm here and I am going to take the text button and add the name. You can add whatever, whatever name you want. Um, hashtag manifestation. Um, for me, I just decided to give um, the name like a cute pet name. And for me, it's um, T-O, which guess what it means. Try to guess what it means before you see it typed out. Because obviously you're going to see me typing it out as well. Um, oh yeah, this is me fixing that glitch thing. I didn't know what happened, but I was just clicking on the side that says restore. And just like the eraser tool erases, when you on restore, it just brings it back. So I learned that just now when I was doing it. Um, oh, it's cool that I'm, I'm learning and showing you guys while I'm learning too. But, um... Oh, I love I love this. I love doing stuff like this. It just feels 
so enjoyable like it's just relaxing it's fun i'm enjoying i'm enjoying this life that i'm living right now anyway so now here is the big reveal dun, 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 of what i'm gonna name it my pet name my oh my babe is the one t-o okay that's what i'm typing right now um did you guess right did you guess right put it yourself in the comments if you guess what t-o is the one i really love that image of tondo on that couch in the tv like i'm also in a big vintage era um so those colors in that kind of tv big retro vibes big big retro vibes i love that and uh, since i had taken this out of the tv i wanted to redo it and get it back of course it didn't see the background again so erase 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 ba 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 just i'm loving this tool i love that it works this well it's so cool when you get a little hack because i did not know that but i erased and i took out the building which was my main goal and just to get the we belong here ooh, we belong here home getting rooted i'm just so excited about what the next six months have to bring for me life really does feel refreshing one thing i've really been doing is being just enjoying the moment being able to sit outside and enjoy sitting there feeling the breeze hearing the birds looking at the clouds just enjoying experiencing this earth you know it just feels so amazing i'm so grateful to be able to be here today <sighs> it feels good so now i have um editing 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 the <laughs> this is me sitting in here live from crazy town this was also from first friday i love that this is an art fence it says the art fence on it i like the kind of art that's on it and it just re also represents moving in to a place and putting my art everywhere um i love a nice paint and sips i've been painting a lot at home without the sip i haven't been drinking alcohol this year just a thing you know sober fun good clean fun hashtag <laughs> so i am erasing the background so <clears throat> it just looks like a piece of art hanging and i can put it up in my home i'm so excited about this new transition in my life which is also symbolized by um if you see the number on this play thing at the center it's 555 five, five. i didn't even put that there that was just already there and it 555 five, five symbolizes change you know movement something new is the window open okay no the window ain't open okay i saw those little bugs flying by the light that come in when the window's open so i'm like hmm, what's that but 555 five, five symbolizes change new beginnings on the sixth is a new moon new beginnings a fresh start Planting new seeds. Ooh, maybe I'll do a cleanse. I'm so excited about new beginnings. So excited for these new beginnings. Full moons are um, receiving the blessings, the fruit from the seeds you planted during the new moon. Anyway, now I'm editing this. Okay, this is also cute, cute. It's going to be cute where I put it, so stay tuned. Um, trying to crop out that lady because she's not me. And also the hand because I already have a hand here, okay? So watch. So now I'm just going to erase her out like I don't even see her, okay? Erase that girl. Erase that girl. Erase that girl. Erase that girl. We don't know that girl. Okay, love you, sis. Um shout out to whoever that actually is in the image um thank you for letting me borrow your man's hand okay so i removed that background thank you remove the 
clutter. <laughs> oh, okay, so I removed that. And now I got his hand uh, and I put his hand on me. Ooh, period. First, I have this picture of me. Oh, yeah, I told y'all because I love the abs and I'm getting back my abs. Okay, baby. Workouts, ab workouts. Oh, and this is also a sweet message. Like, um, oh, that's my mom, Lani. Anyways, back to this. What am I going to find to insert now? Okay, this quote here, it says, I love when all of a sudden I remember who the F I am per, okay? Because I know who the F I am. This is my era of walking in that. I know who I am. <sighs> and you feel it. So just edit that. Just crop it down a little bit. Make it fit into that little space over there. Just filling up the frame here. And this 888 angel numbers. Oh, period. 888 is abundance, especially financial abundance. Just being lucky, right place, right time. Just, whew, like sitting in it, you know, sitting in it. And I love this also because it is a Mercedes Benz. I love the AMGs. Okay, period, 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 period. Okay. Anyway, guys, get in my comments. Let me know what you're thinking, how you're enjoying this kind of video. This is my first time doing something like this i mean i like i said i make these things all the time but i've never decided to sit down and share with you how i do it and uh, you're getting the full thing you're getting the full thing i'm not even holding anything back from you here i'm just letting you see the whole shebang except the part where i had to carve out that man's name because baby okay and i say people on first and last name so y'all didn't we didn't even need to go there okay so this is a phone and i'm putting this here because i have some plans about this okay hold on it's funny i say hold on even though i know i'm gonna come and record and it's gonna be like i didn't leave but y'all my homegirls y'all my homies I was talking to my friend about my TikTok and he was like, you should just be yourself. You know, like when we're talking, you're so funny. You should really let people see your personality. And I was like, oh, okay, you know. So I'm like, here, I'm dipping my toes in. This is my personality, you guys. This really shows a lot about me, actually. Um, you're also seeing so many pictures of me, too. And you're learning about the things I desire. I think it's also very powerful to share what you desire, you know, and to be able to say, I planned for this, you know, and I see myself here. So I see myself taking trips, getting those stamps in my passport. This is a passport stamp. I couldn't see it in the color it was in. So now I'm editing the color. And then I'm also going to edit edit the date because it says 2017 and we are in the present, baby. This stamp is to Cape Town because I will be back home, okay, period. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I love it there, okay? I love being at home. So I just insert some text and at first I just am adding numbers. Then Kendra did a little, you doing too much glitch? And um, respectfully, you know, I understand. And I'm like, okay. And eventually, I think I have to come out of this and close the app and reopen it in order to continue editing. So there goes. Close, open Canva. Now I decide that I don't want to just put the numbers over it because it looks hard to see and now i want a white box or white square thing and at first i thought maybe i could expand that line but that wasn't gonna work but i found this handy dandy little thing i squished it down as much as i could i wanted to do it a little bit more but it didn't go that far but i was like okay this is acceptable for me made it a little more transparent and put it right over those numbers 
and then I edit this to the day I want to be taking my trip okay seeing it happen this is how you get what you want in life and this is my wallpaper like comment and subscribe i love you Mwah.